welcome or welcome back to my channel being Louisa. Just two quick pre-statements. One, I will be wearing this exact same outfit and makeup in the next video because I'm filming them on the same day because I happen to feel good today and I don't want to ruin it. My catching up moments. Sorry, it got really something then, but as I was saying, I don't want to miss this moment of me feeling good enough to actually do my makeup and plan a video and sit down and film. So, and it happens to be ridiculously sunny today. I thought, let me just film a bunch of videos right now. And I'm wearing my brand new top, which you can't technically see, but I'm going to stand up for you. And it is my OK Baby merch. I finally got my top in the mail. I'm so happy. Look at it. Look how cute it is. So it's Oscar, Kira. Levi, so buggy, and Leia, mini bag. I love them, and <laughs> I love the match. I love how it's like a slouchy tee. Anyway, so yeah, so I'll be wearing this exact same thing in the next video coming out. And the number two was everything that I'm about to tell you guys is not sponsored, not at all. I am going to tell you guys some companies that I have used, and I just want to put that out there. Anyway, <laughs> this has been such a long intro. Let's get on with it. I've got it written down, so if I look down, that's why. This video was requested by Sophie. Hey, Sophie. And it was, how do I stay organised? And how do I stay on top of assessments as a student midwife? So, I have quite a few things that help me stay organised and on top of things. So, first one is that at the beginning of the year, we got a Edexcel spreadsheet of our year overview, which tells us when we're in university, when we're on placement, when we have study leave, when we have holiday, which is only seven weeks, so you know, <laughs> not that helpful, but whatever. And when we have enrichment weeks, we had one week that was enrichment week. And that kind of gives us a rough overview. So I have that on my phone and on my laptop. So it's good to just dip in and out of whenever I need it. So then I also have my placement year overview on my phone, which I got from my CPF at the beginning of the year. So my CPF is the clinical placement facilitator. I got that from her at the beginning of the year, or well, we ordered, and it just tells you roughly what area you're going to be on at roughly what time period, but you don't find out exactly where you're going to be until you get your monthly rota a month beforehand, which then that leads on to the next thing, which is three, it's a monthly rota. You get it as an Excel spreadsheet, I keep it on my phone, on my side just here by my desk, and in my planner slash diary, and and just recently I also downloaded this cool app which I saw, who was it? I think it was Midwifery and Mothers. Talk about this app and I was like that's so cool, it's called Shift Worker. It is one ninety nine to be fair which is like okay but it's a cool app and I like it so I was like whatever sure. So this is basically what it looks like. It is that one right there so if I click on it, Shift Worker. So I put it on April just because I'm going to show you a mock um, planner because I don't like to tell you guys when I'm working so this is what it looks like if I click edit which is right there if I click edit and I click edit calendar all these come up which is which are ones that I've put on there and so it's long day night early and late and you just click on one and you can click on whatever day you're working and it just pops up and I feel that's really cool. And then once you've finished with that, click on the day that has one of the little icons on it. At the bottom, it'll tell you the times that you're working, which I thought was really cool. And apparently you can also send it to friends and family, but I just told them when I'm working anyway, so you know. But I thought that was so cool. It's such a cool thing to have. But yeah, so that's like one of the cool little things that I've gotten recently to help me stay organized, which was number four. Number five is my Happy Planner Student Midwife Diary slash planner. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. So I got this one. I loved the whole colouring of it. I just love how simple it was in the water colours. So yeah. So I got this one um, last year, August, I believe I got it. And what I love about this is that because I got the one for midwifery, obviously, <laughs> it tells you really cool things. So they've got really cool abbreviations. So yeah, I really like that about it. Like they got like really cool midwifery things and they got really cute pictures as well, which I thought was adorable. So I'll actually show you wherever my thing is, my uh, bookmark. Yeah, so my bookmark was actually on my birthday, which wasn't that long ago, <laughs> but I just thought it was really cute. So I thought I'll show you it to you guys what I did. So that's kind of what I did for my birthday one, which I made it super girly and super me. But yeah, so I did that for my birthday and I'll show you in a second what else I did to keep on top of stuff. But let me finish this. 
So those are the things that I do to help say like, organize. Now how I say on top of assignment is kind of similar. So I put them in my planner. So again, that's, that's what I was like, hold up. Let me quickly do a segue to that. Anyway, so I put them in my planner. And so the weekend of the weekend of the Royal Wedding, which is which I put here. The next day on the Sunday is when the assignment was due in. So I put a sticker to make sure I remember like deadline, it's important. And I've written all the details for the assignment there. And I actually wrote in when I handed it in. So I handed it in that day at 12 o'clock. But I actually finished my assignment a couple of days prior. I was just waiting to hand it in just in case I decided I didn't like a part of it. Because I'm that type of person that will change my mind very last minute. But anyway, the next thing I do to stay on top of my assignments is I like to make a plan three months prior. And luckily for me, this time so for our formative which is like a pre-assignment type thing our formative was to make a plan so that was really done for me well i did it myself but you know you know what i mean like i didn't have to set aside time to do it like i was already had to do it because it was for a formative and then she went through over the plan and she was like yeah it's good and she told me what to change which was quite a few things i had to change <laughs> which is okay which is good and luckily like our lecturer ended up making a lesson where we all came together and we all shared like our advice and stuff and like what we got told to change which was really helpful because this is assignment we got to choose our topic and so it was in like the topics that we all chose groups and it was really cool and helpful to know what I needed to add and what I needed to get rid of but yeah so I always try to start three months beforehand I'm not gonna lie to you I've been really bad I haven't done any reading in those in these three months however I'm about to start my reading today or tomorrow and then also what I try to do a month prior is to start writing 250 words each day on the topic until I get to my target I think this assignment is just like my other assignment 2500 words so I managed to do that in about I think I got to my word count in two weeks or something but I, I take weekends off so it's usually like just the weekdays I do 250 words weekends I would edit that or I would do more research for my reference list so that's kind of what I do to stay on top of assignments and stay organized in general with university and placement stuff i hope this was interesting i hope it was helpful and i and i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> in the meantime keep on being you if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below with any questions or suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates bye y'all